So guys, Hamza here. Uh, welcome to this video. I'm basically going to show you how to use the free SSL provided by Cloudflare. So you can use this SSL to protect your website and uh, you will have it HTTPS enabled just like here. For my domain, I'm also using the free flexible Cloudflare SSL certificate. In this video, I'm just basically going to show you how to add that SSL to your domain or website. So you have to be logged in into your Cloudflare account and signing up is free and uh, you can add a site. This site you are adding, you must be having administrative privileges and that means you can access its name servers. Uh, when you come to Cloudflare, you basically have to feed in the domain name and then you say add site. And then Cloudflare will start fetching up the website files, DNS and all that stuff. So here we just say next and we select the free plan. Uh, and then we say confirm plan. After Cloudflare bringing up all these files, then we just say continue. And what we need to do is now change our name servers from the name servers provided by our domain registrar to Cloudflare name servers. So what we need to do is just to copy this, head straight to your domain registrar account. I used, um, I used Namecheap to register this domain. So I just go to manage that domain and uh, we just head over to where I can switch the name servers from. So name server section, uh, name servers, then I say custom, and then I insert the name servers provided by Cloudflare. This and here. And then you say, okay. It may take up to 48 hours. That's what Namecheap says. But most times uh, it takes, you know, just a few minutes, two, three minutes. And I can make the whole switch over. To check if your name servers are reflected into your domain, use it a simple tool called Into. DNS. I can just simply put in here the domain name and then I see its DNS configurations. And cool! Two things. One, uh, Cloudflare has sent me a notification that this site is now active on their platform and now it's using these name servers, which is pretty good and fast and the same time into dns has shown us that now the name servers reflecting to this uh, domain are the name servers provided by cloudflare cool so now we can head straight back to our tutorial by saying continue we head over straight here and we have to go to crypto and once we head over to crypto under the ssl we select flexible and here it is saying us the universal SSL is already active, which is interesting. So it means we just don't have to do any other thing. We go now to set the page rules on how we want our domain to be accessed. So uh, the number one page rule is always use HTTPS. And that is on this domain. HTTP forward slash forward slash. And good, we have added a page rule, our domain, and that means every other time someone is accessing it, it will redirect them to the HTTPS version, which is served by Cloudflare. That's how you add the free SSL provided by Cloudflare to your domain name. Once you have your website perfectly configured in Cloudflare, uh, the name server is updated, and the DNS has uh, queued up your host. Um, your host's configurations at the same time when the SSL certificate is active, which is a flexible certificate. Also, when you have configured the page rule, which should redirect to HTTPS, then we head over to our website and we notice we still have the non-secure notice, which is still under HTTP. So, what we need to do, log in to your WordPress website and then go under plugin, say add new plugin, you have to search for a plugin called WordPress HTTPS by Mike Inns. So you install that plugin 
and you activate it. After installing and activating the plugin, you basically have to come to the plugin settings. When you get to the settings page of this plugin, you just select one option, which is supposed to be yes, and say save. So when you're done with the settings for the HTTPS plugin, then you head over to settings and go to general. You have to set the site address to HTTPS. Make sure you have uh, the page rule redirect to HTTPS enabled in Cloudflare because if it's not enabled or if it's not turned on, it will lock you out of your website. At the same time, make sure that the SSL certificate is active. You have to make sure this is green and active. Next, we have to do is uh, just add the S here like I've already added and then you save. You have to keep your eye here to see the changes. So you see, now our website has changed from non-secure to HTTPS and it is saying our connection is secure. Just to visit the home page, boom. So our website is HTTPS enabled. That's how guys you can install a free SSL using Cloudflare. If you don't want to watch the video, you can actually uh, head over to my blog where I wrote a guide how to use the free SSL uh, provided by Cloudflare. The first one is what I've just detailed in this video and the second one is in this blog. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.